When I talk about immortality, I don't mean dodging death or living forever. Rather, I mean the idea of living longer, experiencing more and making memories. At least as per what our current technological advancements can help us achieve. It's pretty much like upgrading from the basic Netflix plan to the premium. More content, more life. Now to do all this, we need to find a way to preserve our brain. Because our brain is like our storage unit. From remembering where you left your keys, to contemplating the meaning of life, your brain is the MVP of your existence. It's the master behind every memory and thought. But our brains, remarkable as they are, aren't immortal. They are extremely delicate and are vulnerable to aging, diseases and the wear and tear of everyday life. It's a bit like your favorite smartphone. Over time, it might slow down, apps could crash, and the battery life might not be what it used to be. Now imagine that complexity on an entirely different level. That's your brain for you. And this is where AI comes into the picture, to maybe help us extend our lives for now, if not be immortal. Because the goal is to keep extending our lives, and until the end of each extension period, we create more breakthroughs to extend our lives further beyond, which could ultimately help us reach a way higher lifespan. Because the threshold for the average life expectancy keeps increasing with such breakthroughs. So the goal is to keep staying alive until the next breakthrough, I hope. Now what is the quickest way to extend our lives a bit longer? Say by 30 years or so? Well, it's by transferring our consciousness to a machine. This is also known as mind uploading. It's basically you, but in digital form. And I'm not talking about some Sims game version of you, but a legit copy of your consciousness stored somewhere digitally, like in some sort of device. And this could be possible gradually because AI and neural mapping technologies are capable of creating a virtual you by sketching out a blueprint of your brain. It's like backing up your favorite photos or messages, but in this case, instead of pictures, you're dealing with thoughts and memories. And powering this up with neural processing units and quantum computing can significantly accelerate this process. Neural processing units, if you didn't know, basically accelerate machine learning algorithms. And in this case, they can act more like the brain's personal translators. They can take the incredibly complex language of your thoughts and memories and turn it into something a computer can understand. And quantum computing, on the other hand, can probably be used to navigate the complex network of possibilities created by your thoughts and memories with better efficiency. So pretty much like having a GPS that can explore every possible route simultaneously, finding the optimal path to store and process your consciousness. So this entire process of uploading your mind to a device is not just copying and pasting information. Instead, it's crafting a backup that can run forever, free from the glitches of our biological existence. And this entire process of storing consciousness can of course be extremely challenging. I mean we are talking about replicating the same behavior as our brain, which if you didn't know, has about 100 billion neurons firing off signals as electrical impulses. That's more neurons than there are stars in the Milky Way. And these neurons are connected by trillions of synapses or joints, creating a neural network so dense that it puts New York City's subway map to shame. And then there's also the fact that our brains are constantly changing, which is known as neuroplasticity. It means our brains can reorganize themselves, forming new connections and adapting to new experiences. It's like having an ever-evolving software that updates itself based on your life experiences. So basically these challenges aren't just about coding glitches or bugs. It's about the very fabric of our humanity. It's about how do we make sure our digital twin stays true to us. It's like building a robot that's not just a machine, but a reflection of our daily habits and behaviors. And because of the insane complexity of this entire process, it's best to rather hope to be able to extend our lifetime through limited breakthroughs instead of jumping straight to the concept of immortality. The possibility of which is very unlikely at the moment.